O Lord of hosts, how long will you not have mercy upon Jerusalem? And the Lord answered the angel, with good words and comforting words. Zechariah chapter 1 verses 12 and 13. What a sweet answer to an anxious question. Let us rejoice in it this evening. O Zion, there are good things in store for you. Your time of travail will soon be over. Your children will be brought forth, and your captivity will end. Bear the rot patiently for a season, and even under the darkness, still trust in God, for his love burns towards you. God loves the church with a love too deep for human imagination. He loves her with all his infinite heart. Therefore, let her sons be of good courage, for she cannot be far from prosperity, to whom God speaks good words and comfortable words. With these comforting words that the prophet goes on to tell us, I am jealous for Jerusalem and for Zion with a great zeal. The Lord loves his church so much that he cannot bear that she should go astray to others. And when she has done so, he cannot endure that she should suffer too much or too heavily. He will not let his enemies afflict her. He is displeased with them because they increase her misery. When God appears to have left his church the most, his heart is still warm towards her. History shows that whenever God uses a rod to chasten his servants, he always breaks it afterwards, as if he loathed the rod that gave his children pain. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. God has not forgotten us, because he strikes us, his blows are not evidence of his lack of love. If this is true of his church collectively, it is also true for each individual member. You may fear that the Lord has passed you by, but it is not so. He who counts the stars and calls them by their names is in no danger of forgetting his own children. He knows your situation as thoroughly as if you were the only creature he ever made, or the only saint he ever loved. So, approach him and be at peace. Amen.